Hi, I'm Matt, and in this video, we'll look at how to cite films and videos, whether they're found on a website, a database, or offline in MLA format. To cite a film or video in MLA, locate the following pieces of information. The name of the creator of the film or video, the title of the film or video, the title of the site that the video was found on, the names of any contributors, such as a director or performer, the particular version of the video you are citing, if there is one, any numbers associated with the video, the video publisher, the publication date, the name of the database, if you found the video on one, and the location, which is usually a URL. Versions can include an uncut version, an unrated version, or even the widescreen version. It is strongly recommended to include the URL in the citation. Even though web pages and URLs can be taken down or changed, it is still possible to learn about the source from the information seen in the URL. Also, when creating a citation that will be read on a digital device, make the URL clickable so that readers can directly access the source themselves. To cite a film or video found on a website, use the following structure. First, list the last name and first name of the creator. Then, put the title in quotation marks, followed by the name of the website. Next, list the names of the major contributors. Now, list the version number along with any other numbers associated with the film or video. Finally, list the publisher, the publication date, and the URL. The citation structure is largely the same if you are citing a film or video found on a database. The exceptions to this are, the title of the video or film should be in italics, and the name of the database should go just before the URL. Keep in mind, streaming services such as Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, and HBO Go are categorized as databases. Citations for films or videos not viewed online such as a film that is only available on VHS, DVD, or any other format, is also much the same as the other citations, except that since there is no website involved, this information is omitted. As with any other bibliographic citation in MLA, film and video citations should include a hanging indent of half an inch. It's as simple as that. However, if you still need help with your citations, be sure to check out EasyBib citation tools and use them to make your citations quickly and correctly. 